Hi, I'm Andrew Childers, and in this screencast, I'm going to teach you cropping from start to finish in just five minutes. Cropping is probably one of the best things we can do to improve our photos, and Lightroom makes it really easy. Now, the first thing that you need to make sure that you're doing is work in the develop module, which is where all of our cropping is going to take place. And second, one thing that I'm going to do, especially for the purpose of this video, is kind of clean up the workspace and hide some of these panels. If I click on this arrow up here and the arrow to the left, we can see a bigger view of our image and have more room to work. And especially on a laptop screen like mine, that's going to be really relevant. To get started with cropping, what I'm going to have you do is click the crop overlay icon that's right here, or you can press the letter R on your keyboard to bring up the crop overlay. And you'll notice that when we do that, we get these lines placed over the top of our image that illustrates um, the crop area. Now what we can do here is grab the edge of the crop overlay and start dragging and resizing to the new area that we want. And we can grab any of these, uh, I call them handles, so that we can uh, resize our crop and choose our area that we want to crop to. And when we're finished, what I usually will do is exit the crop tool by pressing R on the keyboard and Lightroom, as you see, will apply the crop to the image. Let's go ahead and jump back to cropping further by pressing R on the keyboard again and you'll see the crop overlay tool is back up and the next thing that we want to try out is the ability to just draw our own custom crop by clicking this uh, looks like two intersecting rulers right here and when we click that we can actually draw over the image and draw in our custom crop as any way we want it and one of the nice things about that is that you're not working by dragging and clicking the handles on the edge you can actually just draw in your custom crop and if you want to just keep redrawing it click the tool again and just redraw it now you can see here that as I'm cropping I'm creating kind of some funky shapes this is really kind of more of a square crop than the original image and one of the things that that brings us to is thinking about aspect ratio now when we think about aspect ratio we're talking about maintaining the shape of our images and if we don't lock the aspect ratio we're gonna come up with all kinds of funky crops that may not look good in print or on the web so the next thing I want to turn your attention to is this padlock right here and when we click it it locks our aspect ratio. Now you might be wondering what it locks it to and the answer is on this list of drop down options. We can choose to lock it as shot so that it stays um, the same shape as the original image and you can see here as I'm adjusting the crop after we've locked the aspect ratio it's kind of sticky and it doesn't actually let us draw in our own completely custom shapes instead it locks it to that aspect ratio and maintains the same shape. But as you saw here, as I click this drop down, there's lots of other cool shapes we can try out. So if you want to try a square crop like you see on Instagram, you can pick this one to one option. And as we move it and position it, which you can click and drag to kind of custom position your crop, as we exit the crop tool, it guarantees that it's going to stay stuck on that same shape that we picked over here. Now there's a lot of different types of shapes that Lightroom will suggest and you can definitely play with all of them to try and get the right crop. And there's a lot of creativity options here as you try out some of the different aspect ratios and shapes. Now next up one of the things I want to turn your attention to as we go ahead and switch it back to as shot is the ability to adjust and correct for tilt. Now you can see here um, by default this image was kind of tilted and I want to correct it, uh, let's say I want to correct it to be perfectly straight. Now, as I bring my mouse cursor over here, you can see that the shape of the arrow has turned into kind of this tilty double arrow uh, shape. And if I click it and then move up or down, it twists the image so that it's correcting for tilt. And you can see here, um, I've got it kind of corrected um, so that it's more square with their feet and straightened out. And as we leave the crop tool, you can see it's much straighter than the original. And as with many things in Lightroom, we have a number of options how we can actually apply that. We can also click this ruler and drag it to apply or correct for tilt. And we can even drag this slider so that we can uh, correct tilt that way as well. And lastly, I want to talk about one thing that a lot of photographers ask me about with Lightroom, which is how do I know how to crop or what are some of the ways that I can improve my crops? And for that, I recommend adjusting the crop overlay. Now, by pressing O on our keyboard as I am here, you'll see some different kind of crazy looking lines appear on that crop overlay tool. And these represent a variety of things, but mostly what they represent are basically suggested crop lines. And the default crop, which is the rule of thirds, is one that we photographers have probably a lot of us have all heard of 
And this rule kind of states that if you place the action at the intersection of these lines, that your photos are gonna come out better. So again, crop overlays, press O to cycle through the different ones, and also just try cropping to those intersections of lines. And just like all the things we've covered in this video, they're gonna help you get better photos in the editing stage. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and definitely give cropping a try and leave a comment to let me know what you've learned.